Hi everyone and a warm welcome back to the monthly water tournament from SD League. Today we have our second game with Hippie and Integer. Hippie over on the right once more in blue playing as the Territorial Commando Sud. And once again on the left in red we have Integer playing as the 82nd Airborne. Let's have a quick look at what everyone's got down. We'll start with Integer this time. Once again we've got plenty of stingers going up to the front. I'm assuming he's not quite expecting the same this time. Uh, we've got a Humvee tow and a recon Humvee heading over to this side for defense. And we have a stinger heading over there as well with them. Then we've got a load of stuff heading up to the front here. So we've got a couple of those recon Humvees with scouts in heading up to the front there. And then we've got a bunch of military police. Good units to have in. They have a decent range and will help defend the town for a while. And then we've got an LRS coming in, heading into the town as well. Back here, we've got a bunch of choppers down. We've got a couple of anti-air choppers. And we have, no, lots of anti-air choppers. Even the AH-1F is anti-air, isn't it? It's got stingers and hydras. So Integer, once again, going quite anti-air heavy at the start. He's got two of those choppers in now. All heading up to Bravo. Let's have a look at what Hippie's got down. He does have a couple of choppers down, let's be fair. He's got three gazelle cannons there. They are going, funnily enough, to Bravo. So, you know, Integer's doing the right thing. We've got some FS Jaeger heading all the way over there to protect Foxtrot, or at least keep an eye on. Got some BGS heading up there, again, just for some eyes on. Green Berets getting into the town nice and early. Lots of BGS getting spread about. One down here just defensively, kind of to keep an eye on what's coming that way. And some heading into the town. And then we've got a nice mix. We've got some cannon Yag Panzers. They're going to head to the town. Not surprising. I was going to say, unlikely it would be heading to here. It's a bit too built up. Then we've got Flieger Force heading to the center there. And we've got everything heading to the center. And obviously a command heading to Foxtrot. But that's quite weird. Command heading to Foxtrot in this point, but there's no infantry heading here. He's literally just sent the three choppers there, so it's almost like he's kind of at the start surrendering Bravo and letting Integer have it. Though, that said, Integer's not sending much there anyway. Just anti-air. So this will be interesting. It really depends on what Integer can muster there after the fact. Obviously, the choppers will be helpful. I expect we're going to see Hippie. Yeah, I was going to say Hippie's going to bring in a jet straight away. That's how he's going to deal with these choppers. I expect he might bring in another jet as well. He's sending it right around the back. We do have an A10 rocket coming in as well from Integer. He went straight for it. He's now pulling back. He, he may just get that out of there because there's a lot of anti-air choppers and I assume he's seen them. No, going back in and there we go. A second Mirage coming out straight away. So not completely unsurprising. That rocket attack jet is going to get the hell out of there. It's going to be lucky to survive though. That Mirage is going for it. And it's down. And the Mirage gets out without being hit by any of these choppers as well. One of the choppers badly damaged. Mirage does take some fire from one of those choppers. But not a huge amount of damage. Let's be fair. It will get out alive. Morgazel Cannon's being called in here. Interesting response. Not what I expected. Obviously the Gazelle Cannons aren't bad. They will... Oh, Mirage gets a kill on a chopper there. In fact, I think that's two choppers have gone down. Wait, has he lost three choppers there? I think he's lost three choppers in total there. He's lost both of the uh, Cobras, the AH, and he's lost one of the OH-58. That's a nice early win for Hippie, really. He's killed some reasonably expensive stuff. I mean, these are 140 points apiece. This guy is 80. And he didn't lose any jets in that. He's pulling these choppers back now. Doesn't want them in there. Obviously, Integer has control at this point, but it's a fleeting control, perhaps. Recon deployed here. AMX-10 being called in. Always a nuisance. Cannon Yagpans is finally arriving here, but reasonable control of this town for Hippie. 
And those gazelle cannons were called in, but are just sitting at the back now. BGS being pushed up here. Change of mind and being pulled back now that that has been destroyed. Obviously just wanting to see how far he could get. Realised there's something there and won't bother anymore. What we got going on down here is the Aero Rifle Center pushing up here. And the AH-1's pushing up. Obviously he wants to kill that command. He needs it dead. He also needs to bring his own command in. There's an airborne leader coming down at the bottom now. And then we'll probably head here. Mirage coming in for that chopper. Choppers are going for the Mirage, but don't get the kill. Do get the kill on the command vehicle. But that's another 80-point chopper down. He did lose his command, but right now it feels like uh, Integer on the back foot in terms of losses. Managed to get a kill there, and the chopper down there. The Gazelle Cannon is pushing around the top here where there isn't any air defense. The Eagle will help with that. All the Gazelle Cannons are going up there. They're going to mess those up. Hopefully the Eagle can help. I wonder if there's enough points to bring in another Eagle anytime soon. Here he goes. He is going for those choppers. Gets a kill on one. Obviously, those are going to tear apart these scouts. Eagle is depleted on the aims. Has some Amrams. And obviously has its cannon. But the Amrams can't be fired against choppers. They're only against other aircraft. Command is now in this point to contest. Currently plus two to Hippie. Intergy needs to get those commands moving. Eagle coming in. This is a new one, but again, Integer losing quite a lot up here. All of his recon, it's kind of going to leave the back completely open to Hippie to push into Delta. And obviously with the AMX-10, that really does help. FOF and the air coming in there. A-10 is coming in to try and assist. Will be very good against these Gazelle Cannons. Rolling two on the way in. And there's an IHawk back here. It hasn't fired yet, I don't think, but there is an IHawk there. Another IHawk coming in as well. Here goes the IHawk. Misses the Eagle. Eagle gets a shot off, but misses the chopper. A10 thinking twice. Zishirung's arriving here. Unfortunately, the arrow rifle's not close enough to the edge of the forest to see those coming in. Will it see it as it comes? No, completely in the dark. Completely in the dark. Various reinforcements coming in here now. That command is just sitting in the bottom here. I'm surprised it's not being moved to Bravo. Still plus one to Hippie currently. Hippie feeling in a reasonably strong position early on. Managed to kill more of Vintage's stuff. Certainly more blue on the field. But Integer does have a couple of F-15s. A-10 gets a kill. IHawk is reloaded and is engaging on it. A-10 could technically go for that. It does have its rockets left. But it's being evac'd instead. IHawk's busy reloading at the moment. Flieger Force out of ammo. So reasonably good position for the A-10 to get in and out there. Loads more kind of Yagpanzers coming in, heading into this point now. Green Berets and Pioneers coming in here as well. Cannon Yagpanzers will be useful just for the fire support. They're not the best thing in close quarters fighting because they're easy to kill with RPGs and stuff, but they'll still come in useful here. Zisharung's not the best to be going up against the Arrow Rifles. Another airborne leader coming in here. Where's that going? I don't actually see it giving a command. Oh, it's... What? Oh, it's being deployed. I wonder if we're going to see a chopper come in and pilot that somewhere. I'm expecting some kind of transport chopper for that because it's just being deployed immediately there unless that was a mistake. Fight Team Dragon coming in down the bottom to help defend. Look at this. Cannon Yagpanzer from Hippie in the Milan. He's put a little bit more there. What is going on here? What? Oh, wow. Intergy seem to be kind of charging through there. But he's met the defensive wall that Hippie's put up. Ouch. Oh, wow. Immediate response from Hippie there. Bringing in Aeromobiles and Choppers. I still don't know what's happening with that command. 
good maneuvering from Hippie here, though. That that push out from Integer is going to cost him Alpha potentially. That command is now being moved back up to this point. That command still sat there. Toe Cobra's coming in. I'm really confused about that airborne leader. Very confused. Green Berets have managed to push up here, causing issues for the military police. Getting some fire support from down there. Hippie in a good position here. Has quite a lot of units coming in and there's not a lot to stop him. Up at the top here, some reinforcements coming in to try and continue to defend this area. That AMX, though, is going to have a good shot on this vehicle as it comes along here. Those airborne scouts are probably going to die. Almost in range of the cannon. There it goes. Such a good unit, the AMX-10. Ridiculously good for its price. <laughs> yeah, Fireteam Dragon, second thoughts. Eagle being brought in at the back. Two Eagles are in. I mean, they're good for the air defense, but... Uh, Look at this, Hippie's pushed right into this point. No messing about, the Aeromobile's coming in as well. More Aeromobile's coming in. Wow, he is bringing in everything to take that point. He wants a piece of it. Toe Cobra's here, could be the saving grace for Integer. He's got the F-15s and the F-4E as air cover. The Mirage is coming in and really just immediately goes, nope, 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 getting out of there. Lots of shots going in on that Mirage. It's dodging everything. That is obscene. There you go. Eagle gets it with a cannon. I, I'm surprised it managed to dodge that many missiles coming in, to be honest. Toe Cobra getting a kill on one of those choppers. Firing at the other one. Aeromobiles do survive the crash, of course. Jets coming in for that other chopper. Get the kill. Aeromobiles... Do survive the crash, of course. And not particularly stressed out either. I mean, mediocre cohesion. Eh. They could still land and kill something on the ground. Command being brought in. Surprised if he's just letting that go in now. The aeromobiles have been stopped. There we go. He's realised and stopped it. There we go. So. Airborne commander. It's going to be picked up by the Chinook now. The Chinook, I assume anyway. He's brought in an artillery piece there. He's stopped the Humvee. Is, no, he is going for the chopper. He is going for the chopper. I was going to say. Don't know where that's going to go. He could fly it to Echo. He could fly it to Foxtrot. There is some defense for Foxtrot though. I'm curious where it ends up. A10 coming in towards the bottom here. Those two Cobras heading to the center. I think he'd like to clear this up a little bit. He does have control of it at the moment, by the way. I'm surprised that command... That command is just being left down here. I'm surprised it's not being moved up to Bravo. Oh, he's bringing in a Green Beret leader. That's why. He is bringing in another command for that point. Fair enough, Hippie. Right. Airborne leader is in that chopper now. Let's see where it ends up. My team Dragon here on its own. Slow push up here by Hippie. Obviously did lose quite a bit going in there. It was well defended by the Toe Cobras. Toe Cobras doing a good job here as well. With the aid of the A-10. Is he going to see the Green Berry's leader coming in there? It's really, I don't think he did. Mirage and F4F coming in for that A10. A10 is turning around and firing. F4E Phantoms coming in. Gets a kill on the Mirage. A10 taking a lot of fire. Is going to be lucky if it gets out alive here. F15s take out the F4F though. Certainly right now, Integer has that air superiority. The A10 will get out by the skin of its teeth with one point of health left. Pioneer pushing up here will cause issues for the Stingers. And potentially the airborne leader as well. No movement from that commander in the Chinook yet. I guess he doesn't know where it's safe to take it. These units being moved away quickly from those pioneers. Both of the choppers have gone down though. A 
Another tow cobra coming in. He's making good use of these tow cobras. They're not surviving too long, though, unfortunately. They're getting taken out pretty quickly. Airborne leader here getting absolutely minced by those pioneers. Airborne are arriving in those Humvees and being deployed up here. There's various units pushing around here from Hippie as well. I mean, Hippie just seems to be having the edge on maneuvering in this game. I don't think there's any two ways about that. Coming around the back here, putting pressure on from the side. He's managed to get all the way to this side of the point, has killed the command. Another command is being called in there. Currently plus one to Hippie. And it's looking very much like this game is slowly going in Hippie's favour. But with 26 minutes left, we've seen massive turnarounds before. And it just needs one clean sweep with some choppers for Integer. And that could be it for Hippie at a certain part of the map. Right now, he's lost all of his aircraft. So Hippie's lost his F4F, he's lost his two Mirages. That could be it for Hippie. He might not have any more anti-air jets left. Possibly an F4F? There's probably a couple in the card at least. But obviously bringing those out against two F-15s isn't going to work too well. Cobras here getting engaged by the Gazelle Cannon. Well, Gazelle Cannon's on the ground units as well though. Five Flieger Force to you. Absolutely annihilated that Toe Cobra. Absolutely annihilated it. That 105mm cannon being moved up that way now. Where is the... Command Chinook is being moved up to the top of the map. Yeah, he's going to try and get it into Foxtrot. I mean, he might get a brief cap of it if he can get past the Gazelle Cannon. Napalm Bomber came in there. I don't know what it hit, but it's badly damaged. I don't think it dropped. Unless it dropped here. No, I don't think so. I think it's just... Uh... Oh, it's dead. The Roland 2 must have got it from down here. Youch. I mean, the air defense from Hippie isn't bad. He's got loads of Flieger Forsts. He's got the Rolands knocking about. He's got the Eyehawk at the back, which is currently out of ammo, though. Currently not looking like any supply going for it. Look at all this. More Flieger Forsts. No messing about from Hippie. That chopper is going to try and go around the back. He doesn't know that Gazelle Cannon's there. Heavy hog coming in. Lots of choppers. Lots of choppers. But look at this. Hippie is all the way around the back of this point. Integer is completely encircled here. The Cobras will help. And the heavy hog. These will all help because the reality is the air defense is miles away. The Roland is being pushed up. But it's still well out of range of these Cobras. So they will be able to do a little bit of clearing up back here. Airborne leader is taking fire now though from this artillery piece. Heavy Hog doing its job clearing up. That Roland getting ever, ever closer. But look at this. Once again, you know, Hippie is completely in control of this point. He's doing an absolutely outstanding job. Uh, just his map control right now. Very impressed he got all the way around the back of this point. Artillery now firing on these guys here. This could be a huge nuisance for Hippie, though. Introduce you getting this round the back. That Gazelle Cannon didn't even fire at it. It's going to fire at it now. If only he'd moved to the other side of the point, that Gazelle Cannon's going to do the job. He will at least neutralize it, potentially cap it, before the airborne leader is killed. Oh, the Gazelle Cannon can't see it anymore. The Gazelle Cannon cannot see it anymore. Look, it's not long, It's not firing. Oh dear. I thought that was going to be exceptionally good positioning, but it just didn't even get a shot off, really. Back point goes to Integer. Plus one to Integer. But he's completely lost Bravo. He's not really got a grasp on this point. Charlie is looking very much hippies right now. There's literally the command left. And the military police. And the military police aren't going to survive this. Chopper's being rearmed back there. Artillery firing into the centre of here. But, I mean, this point is hippies. That's going to be a nightmare to take back. 
all these dragons coming in here. Napalm Bomber coming in. Going for the chopper. There's a lot of Rolands down there now. Two Rolands. Gazelle Cannon's rushing that way. M48's going... I mean, Hippie's doing another push into this point. I think that's quite apparent now, yeah? Command has been evac from there. F-15 did do some damage to the Gazelle Cannon. Not bad. He got in and out with the command, and it's alive. The chopper took a little bit of damage. That's not bad at all for integer. I'm surprised how close this is. It's a funny old map, Black Forest, because all of these points in the center, they're all worth one. The back points are worth two. And it's a really funny map to gain a really strong foothold in terms of points. Like, Hippies had most map control, for the first 20 minutes of the game, let's say. And he's only managed to get 463 points. Command arriving up there, the Green Barrier leader for Hippie now will recap that and swing the points back in his favour. I feel like Integer is having a rough old time of it right now. With 20 minutes left of the game, I'm struggling to see him catch up here. I'm really struggling. Because once again, we're back to plus one for Hippie. And he's going to take this point as well. Now, Inti's just moving stuff down there. But I just, I don't think it's enough. There's, Hippie has too much down there now. The only thing he doesn't have is a command. I don't think in all of this. Oh, he does have a command. He's got the Iltus command still. There he goes. This point goes to Hippie. Plus two. About to be plus three. This could be the swing that Hippie needs to take, take the lead massively. Plus three makes a huge difference. A win in 12 minutes. Roland's getting some kills. These units being redirected now. Thinking better of going in there. Yeah, Hippie's managed to build up a decent force to charge in there. Over here, Pioneers, Green Berets. Fel Diego coming in this way. I've got to be honest, it is not looking hot at all. Or integer right now. I mean, the map is looking incredibly blue. Airborne leader being pushed around the back here, along with some supporting uh, helicopters. So, Inchid is going to go for capping Echo. I think he'll cap it. I think he'll cap it. Gazelle Hot being called in there. Gazelle Hot isn't going to do much to these units. I suppose it might get the Chinook when it lands. Command tank being called in there. M48 command going to this point to counter cap it. I mean, I'm really impressed that Integer is hanging on barely to that corner of that point. Genuinely impressed by that. And he's hanging in here as well with not a lot. The Eagle's providing great air cover. M48 is being redirected down here now. Command is in. He will take this point. It depends if he can hang on to this point. Utilizing... Oh, there's an F4F coming in. So he does have another one at least. Going for the Tow Cobra. Gets the kill. Is taken out though by the Eagle. Heavy Hog and the AH1F. Engaging on these tanks. Doing a good job at melting them at the moment. Does that have... It does have one penetration on its cannon. That command tank will still go in here, but... IHawk being moved in to help defend here. 
I think this is a try and get these units to waste their ammo. The command tank still going in. He will kill that command tank. A10 rocket coming in as well to assist. I mean, this is just integer completely bypassing Hippie's lines. And Hippie controls the majority of the map right now. 44 minutes of the victory. Currently plus one to integer. He has managed to take out the command tank. Loads of M48s being called in here. I think the problem is he's maybe very low on anti-air now. So he's calling in lots of tanks, but I, I'm not convinced he has enough to deal with the aircraft and the choppers, perhaps? Yeah, he's moving these Rolands down, look. He's having to redirect Rolands. So he must not be able to buy any more. Flieger Force as well, running loads of Flieger Force just running across the map. That is desperation to try and get in there. Aero Rifles pushing across to try and help defend this point. An Apache in, that's the first Apache I think we've seen this game. Saved it for the end. Ihawk, they're getting shots off at the A-10. Roland going for it as well. A-10 are going to be lucky to get out. Nope, it goes down. Heavy Hog just sat there melting vehicles. I suppose at least it's stopping Hippie from getting extra points to spend. It's not a bad strategy. It means he can't sell his transport vehicles. Hippie is having a really, really, really hard time getting past these couple of squads at the top here. I'm genuinely surprised that the military police and the fire team are still alive up there. He's finally managed to get on top of these units here. Surely that command is dead. There it goes. Command is dead. Point in the middle goes to Hippie. Fifteen minutes left of this game. Hippie's in the lead. He gets the points victory as it stands. We're back to being neutralised. But can Integer win this with air power? I feel like Hippie's struggling for anti-air now. A couple of bombs going down. I think that was an attempt at killing a command, but the command is still alive. Miles away from that corner. Smoke going in there. That was to protect the M48s going in. Apache should be able to absolutely mince these things though. Close range with the cannon. Its cannon does two penetration. Obviously penetration increases the closer it is. So it's you know very easily going to do a lot of damage to these guys. Plus the arrow rifles there. Command tank being brought in round the back this time. Is probably going to go into this thing. Which still has the one penetration. Closer penetration at... Uh, Closer ranges. And that will be seen momentarily. There we go. It's turning around. This is going to be a race against time. But I think the AH-1 is going to get it. Oh. Did that smoke itself there? I'm a little bit confused. I think it smoked itself. I just drove into... Oh, I did smoke itself. There is smoke there. I just couldn't see it for the other smoke. One M48 survives that. F4F coming in, going for the Apache, but uh, Avenger Para down there. More Apaches coming in. Airborne leader manages to walk into this point at that side. <laughs> this is this is musical command zones right now. Musical command zones. Thirty minutes left. Surely Hippie has won this. He has the map control. Realistically. But he's really struggling to take this point back. This command tank might be his last command as well. Because he's really trying to keep it alive. He's bringing in supplies for it. Surely that supply is going to get shot to pieces. Yeah, I was going to say. And the arrow rifles are being moved around to deal with it as well. Yeah, command tank dead. It, it revealed itself. Supply is probably going to die as well. Yeah, supply's dead. <laughs> Matt Infantry moved out again. Green Berries leader running away. 
The military police are still alive up there. What the heck is going on with those military police? Hippie in complete control of the center, obviously, now. Loads of M1IP Abrams being called in here. This isn't a bad choice. I mean, what can kill those tanks here? The Green Berets down there. There's nothing in this top corner that can stop those tanks. And there is a Sheridan Command tank coming in. It's enough to hold a point. Currently neutralized with just under 12 minutes left of this game. Is Integer going to turn this around? I mean, we've seen some impressive turnarounds in these tournaments. There's every chance right now that Integer has just worn down Hippie enough that he can't cope with the helicopters and the aircraft anymore. FOF HE bomber coming in, trying to find that command. If this goes into the point, he might redirect it. The F-15's going for it. F-15 gets smacked. F-4F not even banning an eyelid. M1IP down here going up against the Aeromobiles, but there are a couple of cheap tanks moving up to kill it. This has turned into a weird game of musical command zones. Airborn leader going up the Green Berets and the uh, Zisharungs there. <laughs> Some more Aeromobiles being called in for them. FOF HE getting out alive. Hasn't actually dropped his payload yet. It's going to come back around for another pass. Going for that command. Command chopper coming in in two places. For it. I gotta admit, I'm surprised at how many commands Integer has here. He seems to have plenty of spare commands knocking about. Green Barrier's leader being moved down at the bottom there. I mean, this is desperation. Hippie needs this point back. It's worth two. And currently Integer is plus one. Okay, back to neutralized again. But you get the idea here. This is a bit, bit back and forth. And Hippie really needs to maintain control. Integer's back in the centre point. That Sheridan will make it in alive. The Aeromobiles are pushing up here. They will cause issues. They do have the Airplane House launcher. They can do damage to these big tanks. But there's a lot of big tanks here. These guys are already cohesion low. These guys aren't, so they will pull up a hell of a fight. But they're not quite in range to hit the Abrams yet. Those Aeromobiles are surely going to die to all these tanks. These ones... Oh! Nice side shot from the Aeromobiles on that tank. This one very nearly got side shot as well. Aeromobiles going to get the pop. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. But the command is in that zone. And that's what Integer needed. Currently plus one to Integer. Command Chopper moving around the top here. Now bear in mind... The Hippie has moved his command out so he can recap this corner point. There's that command landing now. So this means that that will manage to land in here probably. Depending on where he sends it. Let's have a look where it's going. Oh, he's landing it right next to the Gazelle Cannon again. Maybe he doesn't think it's still there. F-16 being taken out now by these Phantoms. Phantom get the kill. Command here, I think, needs to be attacked, but he needs to rearm and reload his Apaches. HE Bomber coming in for that Apache, gets the kill. I mean, this is the thing now. Hippie needs to kill these choppers to stop them killing that command. Over at this top corner, Abrams is finally dead. One of the M48 gets the kill. More M48 here. I mean, Hippie's not letting go of this point. He's not letting go of this point. He's lost this corner again. Eagle was in at the top there, going for the Gazelle Cannon. Gazelle Cannon is chasing down this command, which is going to try and land there. Chances are it will maybe neutralize that point. Command is being evac'd here, moved back towards the top there. I mean, in an ideal world, Integer gets the kill on that command as it's running away. He is sending that after it. But I don't know if it's going to happen. F-15 comes in for the kill. Doesn't get it. P-51 
fuel tank fire. That thing is going down. It's not going to land, surely. Oh, it did land enough to get the uh, neutralization, though. Being moved right to the back of the map. Where did the other command chopper go? I think he tried to get it in the bottom and it died. That command infantry in the Chinook still moving around. Currently plus two to integer. There's seven minutes left. I mean, 18 minutes to the victory, but we could be seeing integer take over slightly here, or we could be seeing a draw. Another command chopper coming in. How many commands do you have in this deck, integer? I'm genuinely impressed he's going for this corner. This command is still alive, though, after all of that. F-15 going after the FOF, which is evac -ing. Talk about musical command zones, guys. Green Barrier Leader, surely going <laughs> to retake that point. Oh, oh, but this is landing as well. It's going to neutralize it. Plus three currently to integer as he takes complete control of the center. Elta's command being rushed back to the center there. 11 minutes till the victory. His integer turned this around by just wearing Hippie down. And with an immense amount of commands. I can't believe there's another command chopper. Arrow Rifles coming in now, heading for that back point as well. Just to help defend slash kill that command. Gazelle Hot's moving up here. Command back in there, back to plus two for Integer. Five minutes left and Integer has made up the numbers. Can I just say how impressed I am? He may have done it by a little bit of uh, musical command zones, but he's done it. Considering how bad of a position he seemed to be in, pushing around here made all the difference. It really messed Hippie up. Hippie's lost a lot of commands and stuff trying to take that point back. A lot of tanks. And obviously Hippie had already utilised a lot of his anti-air. So he managed to call in a single... I hawk there and everything else he had to try and move from the rest of the map and most of it's dead now is the other thing that command never made it to that back point by the way there is another Sheridan command coming in for the center though because the Sheridan was killed it's currently completely neutralized but this will be a draw if it ends as it is right now The infantry also got taken out. This Iltis command is running away from these arrow rifles, which are going to drop here. There's airborne back here as well. It's just chaos in the air. Complete chaos. Integer seem to have complete air superiority, but uh, Hippie's bombers aren't doing a bad job at damaging the air superiority fighters. Jaeger B1's coming in here, I think, looking for that command. Maybe he's hoping he can bomb it. But even if he manages to bomb it, he doesn't really have a command he can put in there unless he moves those guys back down again, which he might. He is repairing that chopper. But with three minutes left, it's not long to get a command in. Airborne leader moving in here. That command moving back down to this corner. He might get in. AMX-10 will be ready to try and stop him, I expect. anti -air jet coming in down here again to try and defend. F-16 is in. F-15 is in. Integer is trying to maintain that air control right now. He's managed to take out both of those choppers coming in. And the infantry did not survive that crash. Three minutes left. We've hit the mark of three minutes. Green Barrier's leader are moving towards the center there. Just to make sure he doesn't lose control. I think he's worried. No, wait. The command was killed. The command has been bombed or something. Look. There's just a burning wreck there. The napalm bomber got it. 
Oh, Hippie. Centre point goes back to Integer. Plus one currently. He's rushing in these leaders. It might go briefly to push two. Oh, hang on. Eagle's going in for that Chinook, which survives. Leader has been deposited. Will remain plus one to Integer. Loads of Milan's being called in. He desperately needs to kill that command tank. <laughs> what is going on in this game? How many commands have lo been lost on both sides? I mean, it's not a small number. Oh, wow. Integer's all in for the kill on that command. Integer is all in for the kill on that command. All the choppers. He hasn't seen it yet. Surely he can see it here. Surely he can see it. There, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it. It's a big squad to kill though. With 1 minute 25 left. He melts it. He does melt it. Back to plus 2 for Integer. All these Milans getting dropped off right on top of the Sheridan. That's not a great idea. The Milans can't fire at close range. He's dropping them off a little bit further back. Sheridan is running away. <laughs> that's probably, that's probably to some extent worse because they'll be able to fire from range. <laughs> run, Sheridan, run. <laughs> the master of memes versus the master of chaos. And the master of chaos pushing the boundaries here. Sheridan fleeing away from those ATGMs. A hot there firing at the Sheridan. <laughs> Command moved back into this corner. Won the Green Barrier's leader from the center, I expect that. Back to plus one. 30 minutes to the victory. 12 seconds left of the game. Oh, guys, what a game. What a game. Congratulations to Integer for pulling that back as best as you did. Because genuinely, Hippie just had the map control at the start. You were looking in a very bad position, but Echo, Capture, Stroke of Genius. Very close on the kills and uh, losses again for these two. Uh, let's have a look down here. A10 did a great job there. Heavy Hog did a fantastic job. AH1 did a fantastic job. <laughs> Apache, wow. That Apache rocket annihilated so much stuff. Over on the other side, I don't think there was anything that really performed that well. No, the Apache rocket gets MVP for that wall of kills. But what a game, guys. So many deaths of commanders. That was, uh, that was not what I expected to happen at the start of that game. I was not expecting a 40-minute game. That was, uh, yeah, wow. Good game, guys. Really entertaining and, yeah, well done, Integer, for pulling that back as you did. A deserved draw, I think, there, because you both played very well. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Please do like, share, subscribe. Remember, next weekend is the Warner League Super Tournament from SDL. Please join us over on the SDL channel on the Saturday and the Sunday for live castings of those games and chats with the various players and some players giving us some analysis as well, even if they're not playing in the tournament. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you all soon.